Hi, you guys. I hope you're having an awesome camp so far. Good? Thumbs up? Phenomenal. I'm Molly, um, and I'm excited to give you a quick update on all of the awesome progress that's happening in the wider IPFS ecosystem. So that's my goal here. As I think both Juan and David mentioned, this is a giant open source community with over 4,000 contributors across the world, with huge communities in North America and Europe, and a growing community in Asia as well. Thank you all for coming from around the world to be here with us today in Barcelona. It's really, really amazing. And we actually see, over time, the number of contributors growing. And this is accelerating. We've almost, almost hit 400 monthly active contributors on GitHub, which is still only a slice of where we spend our time. Yeah, that's also super awesome. And you see it's, it's doubling. This is almost double what we saw a year ago. So super awesome. Lots of new people who are coming to participate with us in building the new web, which is phenomenal. And these contributors are building a huge plethora of applications in a ton of different categories. So people are using IPFS for data storage and versioning, for social media, for marketplaces, and so many more. I think this is already far out of date. If someone wants to make a new version of this, I would love to put it up on a slide, so ping it to me. But there's tons of stuff happening in this ecosystem, and it's so exciting to watch. And the crazy thing is that this is now reaching millions of monthly active users. All of these projects and multiple of these different projects are supporting that scale of usage. So that means millions of people every single month are depending on the work you do to solve real problems in their lives. That's huge. That's a scale of IPFS that we just haven't seen before. So I think this is really your accomplishment, and you guys all deserve a round of applause from us for the amazing work you're doing. Uh, with this growth in monthly active usage, as you'd probably expect, the IPFS network is also growing precipitously, over 30x in this quarter alone. Um, and these many nodes are joining the network from all over the world and doing who knows what, but delightful, amazing things. So in addition to working to support this huge, huge growth, we have also been working on the core JS and Go implementations to try and make them better. One that I'll call out is Base32 encoded CIDV ones by default, which is awesome and got picked up by Cloudflare and Pinata just you know, a week and a half ago to make uh, CIDs and subdomains work. So that's phenomenal, and, and this progress is already paying off. I think I saw a thumbs up back there. <laughs> There's also been really awesome progress on making IPFS work really well for use cases with large amounts of data in you know, many small files, large directories, et cetera. We, we have named this the Package Managers Group, and we've been doing a ton of research in that area. Um, there's been great proof of concepts, like NPM on IPFS and APT on IPFS, and a lot of others that are actually collaborations with ecosystems um, of package managers out there. Um, and speaking of collabs, IPFS collaborations with web browsers like Opera and Brave are doing awesome, and we're so excited to welcome people from those communities as well who are getting to work with um, and get, get that last yellow star green hopefully very soon. So as I mentioned in the package manager space, there's been a ton of research and experimentation which has unearthed a number of targeted performance improvements and areas where we can make IPFS much faster and much more usable to support these sorts of use cases, especially things like mirroring large file system package managers like APT, APK, Maven, CPAN, and others. Conveniently, this also improves IPFS for anyone who wants to move around large files or directories of files, which is a common use case for IPFS, and we can add a lot of value to that space. So looking back at Q1, we see a ton of progress happening here, both in core releases of the protocol and in other amazing things happening throughout the ecosystem. People are launching new projects or adding new integrations between projects, creating new tools, releasing new versions. It's super exciting. And we see this uh, progress accelerating. As you see, I, I just ran out of space toward the bottom end of that slide. So much cool stuff is happening right now. I literally can't fit it on here. Um, and we are also releasing more core releases of the protocol and seeing a lot of awesome people come into our community and build really exciting projects. 
So we're super excited to spend the next three days with all of you learning about each other's projects and also finding ways for us to collaborate and support each other.